Are you an expert seeking to secure a legitimate teaching job in Cambodia amidst all the scams in Cambodia? In this video, Fred, an ESL and bilingual teacher in Cambodia, will share valuable tips and tricks on how to find real teaching opportunities in Cambodia. Whether you are a seasoned educator or new to the field, our insight will help you navigate the job market with confidence from repeatable recruitment agencies to networking strategies. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel and thank me later. So you're saying that the only job for foreigners in Cambodia is a teaching, teaching job. job. Yeah, teaching job. And I'll tell you some, something about their work permit and so on. Okay. So for teaching job, when you're coming, you have to at least get your teaching certificate. That okay. is a certificate. Your yeah, bachelor's degree. Bachelor's degree, yeah. Um, in Vietnam, the required uh, certification for teaching is um, your um, your university degree mm -hmm. and uh, you need a TESOL and then you need a, a C1, a TESOL or a C1 okay. and um, um, and what teaching certificate uh, your TESOL and a C1 yes, these are the three uh, what is the documentation in Cambodia? The documents Cambodian schools need one, you are bachelor's degree okay, bachelor's, bachelor's degree. degree one, and you can add up to TESOL or TEFA okay. as we used to say, that one may be required by high profile schools in cambodia but if you go outside the big town big cities you can get some schools that they may not require any document from but your experience okay but if you have your teso you have your bachelor's degree in education and maybe other documents added it means that you may have the opportunity to be employed by a high profile schools in cambodia that like international schools. international schools because i've seen some very big schools they have very many big schools here because in cambodia they teach the school work or education work is mainly for business I would say business mostly as we say school, or every school or most of the schools are for business but in Cambodia it's purely for business okay why because uh, some people go to the market they sell their clothing and whatever that is that is what, what they are doing in Cambodia okay. so you can see about one person the person may have about 20 schools in Cambodia and wow. the schools are big okay so, 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 so before we come to the business side let's qu quickly clarify so you are saying that you, you 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 can either come and teach it at the TESOL and the TEFL, mm -hmm. or you can come with just a teaching certificate. You can come with just a teaching certificate. Mm -hmm. Your bachelor's degree and TESOL is okay. Okay, so and I have this thing on the internet that I see on the internet where people are recommending two types of um, TESOL for people: mm -hmm. AVSE TESOL, and there's another type. And the, the, some of these guys practically come to Cambodia to stay in hotels and take this TESO course mm -hmm. for like one month or some weeks before they graduate and maybe these people find them schools, this AVSE mm -hmm. find them schools. How is that system different? Is it a normal routine or is it different? Uh, I will say many people have their own way of doing their businesses. Okay. Because I have been here for some time, even I was in Thailand May, many of the schools in Thailand they, they, they don't, don't require distance and Cambodia is the same here so if those people are doing that that's why I just said many people have their own ways way of doing, of their, doing their, business. their business so that's their business yes. but let's clarify this um, can you come to Cambodia with any TESOL certificate at all like in Vietnam any TESOL provided you are able to legalize that TESOL mm -hmm. even we have some of the TESOL which are even free like a teacher record and other stuff, you are free on the internet, you can do it. The only thing is to legalize it, and any part of Vietnam is accepted. It's the same in Cambodia. Uh, here, too, I would say it's the same. If you have any type of TESO certificate, it's okay for you here. And as I told you earlier before, not all of the schools even require this TESO certificate. You have your oh. degree certificate, then you do your CV, and it's okay for them. Oh, yeah. Okay. And one more thing. Is it good to apply outside Cambodia or you have to travel? Because a lot of people also come into Cambodia with a tourist visa mm -hmm. in search of a job or they are being promised 
to come by some of these schools so they come stay here pay money they actually pay money come stay in hotels and take some of this avsc whatever test or certificate spend a lot of money in uh promise of getting them a job how does that work okay that's why i said that many people have their own way of doing their own business even uh, i haven't met such people before but uh as you ask can you apply or get a teaching job outside cambodia yeah, should you apply out or in you can get it but mm, most yeah. yeah you can get it in or outside but outside the percentage is lower okay but if you are here and you have been working through the schools that's work in process okay it's, you are uh, you'll be easier you be easier to find a school. Yeah, the school okay because we are saying that in vietnam currently you can't just enter the account with a tourist visa and look for a job mm. formerly it was so but now it isn't okay let's so, come here mm. for tourist visa you can get a job here but you have to change it later on okay because if the police or the immigration sees you you may get a problem here so actually the first thing is that when you come here you may or, or you have to change the tourist visa or first find the school then the school will give you documents okay. that will be the easiest process to spend or, yes and you wouldn't spend more money okay. like you don't have a job if you don't have a job the money that you spend to change your tourist visa into maybe the business visa is a little higher and is it difficult uh, to change it from tourist visa to work visa uh actually not so because uh one there are uh, other processes or many processes that you can go through if you get your work permit from the school you just have to leave for about one day to maybe the nearby country something like laos, laos. Myanmar, vietnam just to get your business visa to come back and it takes about maybe about one day if you go the the next day you can get your visa and come because back. in vietnam if you enter with the tourist visa you have to exit you can change to work permits in staying the country you need to go for out for about one week or let's say two weeks for you for you to get a work permit or a work visa for you to re-enter the country mm -hmm. is this same here okay mostly you have to go out okay to the nearby countries right. then that one takes about one day okay i did mine in laos I went there on Sunday, mm -hmm. then Monday, the visa was ready, and I came back. So you have a work permit in, in, in Cambodia? I have, I have my Everton. Okay. I have my work permit. And, and how, what's the duration? How, how long do they give? Uh, Two the, years, one year? Uh, the work permit here uh, depends on the country. because The country you are coming from? Yeah. Ghana, we now have six months. The oh. work permit is for one year. Okay. It expires on 31st December every year. Oh, Even okay. if you do it 1st December, okay. it will expire on 31st December. Oh, okay. But the state visa, the visa is six months. Okay. Every Ghanaian here and most of the West African countries have their visas on six months. So they say for six months, they don't have to go and renew it. So okay. if you stay here for about 20 years, mm -hmm. every six months, you have, you have to, go have and to renew it. Yes. And, um, um, is it easier for countries like um, Ghana, Nigeria, Pakistani, all those hard countries? Uh, is it easier? Okay, it difficult? for some of the West African countries, they have been backlisted here. And as you just said, some hard countries, it's not easier. Something like our neighborhood Nigerians, uh, they have some problems here. So it's not easy for a Nigerian to come into Cambodia now. If they see that, you are from nigeria they will return you okay but from for ghana we are free to come here for now even ghana is not easy because when i was coming i was nearly returned i was nearly sent back yeah because of what some of the uh, out, uh our african countries uh they ha they came here and they have spoiled the name african here okay. so if they see any black person coming here then they think that uh you may you are also coming to do some illicit stuff here so that the, me, I, was, I came here 2019 from at that time I was in China. The airport they deported me. Wow, I wasn't able to enter into Cambodia mm -hmm. just recently. That I came from Thailand, then I entered through the border. And that time, that time, even they delayed me for about two hours, asking me questions how much money with me, and so on. But when they found out that I have a Thailand work permit, I have my teaching license in Thailand, later on they said just go so for ghana i don't think we have much problem in cambodia but just an entry is a problem yes now the entry 
people advise that you use the land border i wanted to use the main border that's the airport what do you advise for now if you want to come i advise you use the land border not the airport why but land border i've, I've been told you pay you pay you pay uh some you money. pay some money yeah that's uh, at least about uh, uh 150 dollars to 200 wow. yeah you have to pay that's because, right yeah if you don't pay you can't enter wow my brother if you don't pay you can't enter because not all the borders will allow you to come inside they will frustrate you for you to go back because now the law is that they don't want the africa some of the african countries to enter into cambodia but if they ask about your country this country they wouldn't allow you some of the countries okay. they will take some amount of money then they just allow you so nigerians pay. can pay some amount of money nigerians, they're not allowed nigerians are not allowed wow i know so they, they can't use... get a visa in uh ho chi Minh because i'm asking because personally when i went for my visa sticker they told me they won't do it for i went with a the nigeria they told me they won't do it for him it, but if, what if they use uh ho chi Minh to get a visa and then come they also that's also not allowed it's not allowed but you know there are some ways that you can pay something okay. to some agents okay. they, they grant you that visa oh I guess. some agents can lead you then they will give you that visa so meaning there are ways and means there are ways and means but the way don't you think the way they are treating africans it, it, it's a bad because we have cambodians who are bad people we have americans who are bad people we have Ghanaians who are bad people we have south africans who are bad people so why don't you check the records of the person mm. uh, the, the record the history of the person the person has he traveled has he overstayed or not and then you grant the person visas based on merit instead of saying nigeria because we are very good nigerians we are very good sure, Ghanaians. we are sure. very why even recently my visa uh, it's a, a nigerian who helped me to go through that process and i was able to uh, uh, get my uh, present permit here actually we also we we those who are inside we don't understand and this is particularly in asia how some of the countries in asia treat africans are very bad mm. meaning there's racism in cambodia sure as a teacher teaching here for how long have you been here oh actually i've been here for about five months because i just came from thailand okay but i was in thailand for one year china for eight years oh you were you worked in in china for how many years eight years eight years yes holy shit eight oh years. my god yeah and thailand for how many years thailand for one year i was teaching wow. chinese language in thailand you teach chinese Man yes. mandarin yeah and you've been here so it's with Chinese. Say hello. Ask, ask people to subscribe hello, in Chinese. Hello, ni hao. Hello, o jue da de jue do hen hao. O jiao liu lao shi. O si yi jian zai zhong guo du guo shu. O zai zhong guo hu nan yi yang. Holy, holy <laughs> man, he can speak Chinese, Mandarin. Uh, so do you also teach uh, uh, Mandarin in addition to the English? Yes, of course. Oh. Yeah. Hmm. I have my Chinese students here. Oh, you oh. teach Chinese in, in, in Cambodia? Yeah, I have. And English? Yes. Wow. Wow. So for Chinese, everything, I speak and write. Wow. Wow. You schooled in China? Yes, I schooled there for four years, five wow. years. Oh, okay. Because okay. the first year, I learned Chinese language bef because before I was able to attend to my faculty. Is, my do we have, uh, is racism uh, prevalent in Cambodia? Are Cambodians uh, racist? Um, actually, I would say in Asia we have, but Cambodia, it's lower. Okay. Here, as compared to other countries that I have been to, Cambodians, the only problem that you have is that if a Cambodian sees that maybe you can't speak their language, or they also can't speak English, then they will be maybe just going away from you. Yeah, 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 yeah. Like they're shy. Yeah. They're shy. But as to say uh, uh compared to other countries mm. the racism here it's, is it's on the, yeah, the low okay. the, pro the only problem is that every cambodia every cambodian who can speak english will come closer here to you is teaching english in cambodia or teaching english and not now you are teaching languages yeah. you teach english, english and, and chinese mandarin yeah. hey is mandarin different from chinese the same the same thing, yeah the mandarin is teaching in cambodia lucrative i would say yes teaching work here is very nice uh you can attract some high salaries depending on the school that you go through but you know usually the big cities you can get more salary and they respect a lot the foreigners because they respect foreigners, foreigners a lot, a lot. What, yeah. what what is the least 
an English teacher in Cambodia can get? In Phnom Penh or the big cities, at least you can get about eight hundred thousand five to two thousand dollars a month. Okay. But in Vietnam, we teach with hours. So, for instance, I have four hours schedule. You have two hours schedule. There, one hour schedule. There. How is the system in Cambodia? Here is barely full time. Oh, okay. The full time, most of the schools they also have part time. So, if the school employs you, it means that you are going to work for a full time. So, the salary is just fixed. Yeah, fixed. So, you go and teach from uh, what time in the morning? Uh, what uh, around eight o'clock to five or four. Oh. Then from four to seven, they may have part-time classes, and the part-time classes and additional money to your salary. Yeah, but that's part-time. So, <laughs> so, so that means you are working from in the morning eight to four. Yes, that's a very long time, and you are getting paid eight eight hundred dollars. Yeah. Do they pay according to countries? Like they say, South African countries are native, Americans are native, and you are this is you're not native. Is that how they pay? Uh, I would say we have that one too. Uh, uh, you know, most of the distant, uh, uh, distant, the European Americans, at least they use their color. <laughs> okay, to beat you. They, yeah, they pay apart by that. Even though they might not have experience in teaching, but because mm -hmm. of their color and where they come from, we have that uh, distant that, that system too. Yes, here. Okay. And when it comes to Africans, they just look at your experience in teaching, then they can raise this thing. Okay. Sorry. For you okay okay what is the system what do you teach in cambodia uh like if somebody is new and is coming here mm -hmm. wants to come and teach here what should a person expect like what would the person be teaching in cambodia uh, it's barely english and some people can also employ something like it specialist so okay. if you but if you can teach it your salary is a little higher but the english teaching job is more in cambodia if you can teach IT. Yeah, IT. But what if you, if you know IT, you have the skills in hardware and all those things? That can also help you. Come here. Yeah, it can help you a lot because some companies are even, Looking they need for. you. Yeah. But you said the only job here is uh, is English teaching job. English teaching job. Is, yeah, but the IT is not, uh, it's not that English job. Okay. It's just you can, once in a while you can find one. Okay. But the teaching job is the most one that you can get here. Okay okay and i have heard that um i mostly when i look for jobs in cambodia i go on the internet and i see typing job uh typing job uh freelance job uh sometimes, sometimes what is it with that oh my god um the first of all i want everyone who is listening to us now to know that this typing job that they are talking about is a scamming job okay it's a scamming but they want to rebrand it because I've been there and I've been through before. It's typically a typing job. And what they will tell you is that online business, mm -hmm. uh, cryptocurrency, yeah. and uh, maybe Bitcoin mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. in Cambodia or mo some of the Asian countries. That is a scamming job. And the typing job, that uh, I just said, they want to brand it so you wouldn't know the actual work that is going on there. So they use that lay people. Oh, come 30% typing, then CSR. This is customer service representatives. Come and do HR. They are all scamming job. And brother, I, I want to tell you that some of these companies are very bad. You go into slavery. Mm. You can be in, 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 at a place that you can't even come out for about two or three years. Wow. They are camped in a room. That why are they saying it's a scam? Uh, this thing typing job because mostly it's an online, so we use computers. Okay, right? let me let me let me. All right, guys. So I'm going to wrap up the interview and then we'll talk extensively about this coming stuff. Um, let's come back to our. I wanted to finish the English everything related to English. Then we'll, we'll talk about this also. So now we are still. So you are saying nobody should come to Cambodia for any. Um, online teaching job it's a scam, scam right? Scam job. It's scam. a scam. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Now let's come to the, the teaching again. Um, would you advise somebody you have an experience of teaching in China, in Thailand, in Cambodia? Would you advise somebody to choose Cambodia over China and Thailand? Sure, my brother. I like and love Cambodia so much as compared to China and uh, Thailand. Documents are stress free. In Cambodia. In Cambodia. Even if you have your small money, 
you can do your own personal visa to work as self-employed but Cambodia uh, but Thailand uh, China and other countries is it isn't so I can employ myself here. I can open a shop. I'll have my registration and I'll use myself to do my visa here. Oh, so you are it's saying that, that it's just simple. As a teacher, you are not restricted to only teaching. Yes. In Vietnam, you need to get a work permit strictly mm. stitching. Mm. Even if you're working for another school, you still have to get a work permit for that school. You are saying in Cambodia, if you have a permit to work as a teacher, you can still open a company sure. and work stress free. The visa in Cambodia is not restricted. Oh. To a particular place or particular person. If I'm in New York school, I can use the same visa to go and work in another. Even if I, I if I leave your school to another school, this I can use the same visa. Wow. Not as in Thailand, not as in China, where I stayed for a long time. So I prefer living in Cambodia than those countries. Are you giving work permit and TLC or is just a visa? Just a visa and work permit. Okay. Yeah. And you can do anything you, you like. You can do anything you like. Okay. Just recently, I went and I wanted to make more inquiries about these businesses so, because I want to, in the future, register my own company. I got all the, this information from there. You can do your own business here with your registration documents and you can do your own visa. I see. So documents are not restricted here in Cambodia, like to a particular place or company. How is life in Cambodia? Um, is, are things cheap comparing Thailand, China and Cambodia? How's life? Uh, life here is also, I would say, it's very easy, easy to easy. live here. Yeah, like uh, uh, like uh, goods and services are cheap here. Okay. If you go to the market, uh, you can buy some cheap uh, food there or anything at the supermarket. We are cheap here, so life here is very easy. Easy, yeah, easy. Here, yeah. And um, is it easy to also mingle with the local people? You, can you just marry and and if you, are, if you marry, are you able to get a citizenship in Cambodia? Uh, Cam if you marry here, you can get a citizenship. Oh, yeah, Cambodia you can get it here. Yeah, so that yeah. you can be you can be given Cambodian passport. Is that possible? Yeah, you can get it. Are you sure? You know or you don't know? You can get it. Uh -huh. I know some someone has gotten it already. Oh, yeah, and if you marry, but there's one problem that because here the visa issues are not all that complicated as other countries foreigners are not willing to marry their local people here because they can do their own visa see even if you have, if you have about thousand to thousand five hundred dollars you can do your own thing here. so there's no need to go in for a company except that maybe you want to live here you want to live, live here. here for a long time with okay. them then have your family here then okay. you can take that but because of maybe document or visa issues there's no need to go in to marry these people because okay. when i was in china some africans and other countries they used to marry the chinese people then get visa to stay thailand is the same thing but here it's not like that not like that okay well in in um in back in um vietnam um preferential treatment is given to South Africans, they are considered as the only native country mm. in Africa. Um, is it the same in Cambodia? Uh, here, the natives that I know, they used to consider those, uh, this, the white people from Europe, American, and those things. But for uh, Africa countries, there is no difference between the Africans. South Africans are native. native they are actually English. Now, when you look at the Tesol, the Tefil market, mm -hmm. they have categorized. Um, countries that are native yeah, Africans yeah. are they're able to teach in japan the only country that can teach in japan taiwan and uh all those um all those korea and all those countries mm -hmm. apart from south africans no other african country can go teach in korea and all those countries mm -hmm. i'm asked that in cambodia do you have the same system here or in Cam for cambodia it's a matter of the color once you are you have black you are dark and you are from south africa whatever you are still the same that's true and as you are saying, I know South Africans are coincidence, and most of the Asian countries consider them as a native here. Yeah. And here too is the same. Apart from that one, there, all African countries are the same. Okay. So that means that South Africans are those who get access to teaching the bigger international schools. Yeah. Even all the African countries you can, you can get, depending on your experience and your qualification, mm. you can get it. Okay. That one, no one is exempted. Okay, so because I because I know many Ghanaians here who are teaching in the big, high-profile schools in Cambodia here. Mm. Yeah, depending on your chance, your qualification, and your experience. I saw so many, I mean, people on the on the street. I saw some Nigerians. I've seen some Ghanaians, and some tell me they don't have a job. How, why? 
uh if a ghanaian is not or other for nigerians i can't say much because nigerian they have other businesses that they are doing here some of them they have opened their restaurants they are opening their shops and other things that they are doing other businesses that they are doing here some of the nigerians they have schools here they have established schools here. Hey. and a nigerian is on a distant tv station here hey yeah you know nigerians they used to exploit yeah opportunities that they can a nigerian owns a tv station in Cambodia. Yeah. what tv station yeah. is that actually i've forgotten the name but okay. later i'll give you that okay. tv station right. but right. they have many jobs here wow. uh, so but for Ghanaians, you know mostly uh we teach here and if a Ghanaian is if a, a Ghanaian Ghanaian. is here and the person is not teaching maybe the person has just come here okay in cambodia if you come here at least you will not get more than one or one and a half month without getting a job oh okay. if only you're serious okay yes. mostly one a uh, one week two weeks you, you might have gotten your job okay guys thank you so much i hope uh, this uh, interview has been very educative if you, you if you think of coming to cambodia to teach i hope we, we've got all the information that you need to get covered he is the he is the chairman of the ghanaian uh community in cambodia right yeah and let me chip in this thing mm. uh cambodia whenever you come here you might have a job to do okay as the teaching job right. uh, why because they don't actually have vacation dates oh they don't vacate yeah most of the school they because schooling here is for business okay most of them when they are tired they just give about one or two weeks okay. holidays even two weeks is more one week some days then but the only time they go on vacation is something like uh holidays holidays yeah and also in august most of the school can have a rest like a two weeks one week wow. and that time too is not actually vacation because most of the student students will be going on vacation classes and okay. teachers will be working okay yeah. right that means there's no uh, specified date like us in vietnam we have three months um uh, summer as i've been here in cambodia now because we are on break okay guys thanks for watching and he's you can locate him go to the facebook association of Ghanaians in cambodia community, yeah community in cambodia. association of, of Ghanaian Ghanaian communities, communities in, in cambodia. cambodia like the page and you get all the updates there it's yeah. a buy for today yeah, yeah.